Hi there, Ruth Rawlins here, Centre for Bioethical Reform UK. I'm here to give you a quick update of the Stop Stella campaign, as well as address some of the false accusations that MP Stella Creasy has directed towards us and our campaign. We are in Walthamstow because this MP is trying to remove sections 58 and 59 of the Offences Against the Person Act. Now this will remove all legal protections from the unborn child, meaning that abortion will be available on demand for any reason up to 28 weeks. So we are there, we are taking our public education display to the streets of Walthamstow, showing the people what their MP stands for. We're showing an image of a 24 week aborted baby, which is what Stella Creasy is championing as a human right. We're showing this image next to a picture of, of Stella Creasy's face. And we also handing out literature. The other part of this campaign has been the billboards, which has blown up in the media. Now we put six billboards out there. As far as I'm aware, only one billboard went up. And within a few hours, the billboard was called to be taken down by MP Stella Creasy herself, making a fuss on Twitter and demanding that Clear Channel take them down. So why they, does she want to take it down? Because it, all it had on it was an image of a living nine week fetus, which takes me to my first one of the first false accusations that she is making against us, that our images are somehow scientifically untrue. Our images have been verified online. Go to cbruk.org and you will see the image source. They are verified. The nine week fetus has been verified as has our 24 week aborted fetus being verified by abortionists. So we demand that Stella Creasy tell us exactly what is scientifically untrue about these images. They are dated from fertilization, the moment when life begins. Second of all, Stella Creasy is saying that this is a campaign of harassment and intimidation. Now, harassment is a legal claim. The police came out to our public education display on Saturday and they said, and they've made this statement to the media that no harassment took place. This was um, referring to our behavior. It was referring to our literature that we handed out and our banners that nothing within what we were doing and what we were distributing was harassing in any way that warranted arrest. If we had been harassing anyone, we would have been arrested. So this is a false allegation, accusation, that Stella Creasy is repeating in the media to try and claim somehow victim status, when she is in fact the one who is victimizing the unborn child. So we demand Stella Creasy that you um, retract and stop repeating these false allegations against CBR UK and against our campaign, because it is simply not happening, happening and the police have confirmed that. Lastly, she has made um, she has said that somehow that we are targeting her because she is pregnant. Once again, this is not true. We are targeting her because of the policy that she is trying to bring in, which under the um, the domestic violence bill, even this week, they're going to be discussing that in Parliament. She is trying to take away the rights of the unborn child, as I've already discussed, and that is why we are targeting her because of her policies. We are holding her to account and letting the people of Walthamstow know what she is standing for. So no, Stella, we are not targeting you because you are pregnant. And that leads me to the next point that somehow we are calling you a hypocrite for, for um, championing abortion and yet being pregnant. No, Stella, you obviously didn't read our website properly. We are highlighting the hypocrisy of your position because you speak of the humanity of your child in your womb Yet when you talk about abortion, you totally ignore the humanity of the child. You totally ignore any talk of even mentioning the child. And you're just talking about it as a human right, but you're ignoring the rights of the unborn child. So that's the hypocrisy that we are talking about. So I just wanted to highlight those points and make them very clear. And so I also want to say thank you to all of our supporters. Thank you to everyone in Walthamstow when we were out. Contrary to what Stella Creasy is saying, that 
everybody somehow is on her side. No, we met many people that were grateful to be informed about what their MP was trying to push in government. They had no idea and they didn't support it. Yes, we had some people on her side who were shouting expletives at us. Yes, we did. But many of the people of Walthamstow were not for abortion and were outraged to think that this not only is actually happening now in our nation, but that Stella Creasy wants to make it more readily available and at a later date. So that is the word from the street. That is the word um, in, on the ground in Walthamstow on our campaign. We will be back for more public education displays. So if you want to get in touch, join a display, please get in touch. You can donate towards the campaign and please share. Share this video, share our, any, all the media things that we are sharing on social media. And please remember to use the hashtag Stop Stella. We are here to, to, to educate on the humanity of the unborn child and the reality of abortion and expose those who are working hard to take away the human rights of the unborn child. In this case, it is Stella Creasy. So we are calling for her to stop promoting um, human rights abuses of children in the womb. Thanks for tuning in and yeah, we'll continue to keep you updated.